Hello and welcome to the Medicine Safety Video Podcast. In this podcast we're going to be talking about a national patient safety alert that has just recently been released. But before we talk about the specifics of that alert, I wonder Kevin, could you just tell us about these national patient safety alerts in general? What are they? Who issues them? What do we have to do about them? Okay. Alan, so over the last 10 years, the NHS has built up a national reporting and learning system. And NHS Improvement uh, receives uh, our information from Datex from all over the country, and they look through uh, the uh, information that's coming in, and then they make a decision about whether there is a patient safety issue for the NHS or not. And when they decide that there is an issue, uh, they issue a type of alert which they send out to every organisation um, outlining the patient safety issue and then indicating a number of steps that they want the trust to take um, backed up with some uh, educational information so it's very important uh, for all of our staff to have a look at this when it comes in um, to understand what's required of us uh, and to make sure that we take the actions which help prevent those patient safety events happening again. Great. Thank you, Kevin. So this is the alert that we're going to be talking about. As you can see, it is titled Risk of Severe Harm and Death Due to Withdrawing Insulin from Pen Devices. And insulin pen devices are things like this flex pen. This one delivers Novomix insulin, but there are several different types of pen as well as different types of insulin that can be given by them. Um, pen devices are now one of the most common ways to give insulin and they're popular because they're portable, they're easy to use and they mean that you don't have the hassle of having to draw up insulin from a vial using a needle and syringe. There are needles that are specifically designed to be used on these pens and there are safety needle versions of the pen needles as well so if you're giving insulin using a pen device you should make sure you do this using a pen needle. And this is where we come to the patient safety alert. So the alert talks about cases where staff in some other trusts have not had access to safety needles for pen devices or have not had access to sharp spins for disposing of pen needles. And in these situations, it turns out that the staff in those trusts have sometimes been taking a normal insulin syringe and needle and using this to withdraw insulin from pen devices or sometimes to withdraw insulin from the refill cartridges for pen devices and as this safety alert points out this practice should not happen so do not use a needle and syringe to withdraw insulin from pens or from the refill cartridges for pens. We haven't had any reports of this type of practice happening in our trust and so I don't want people to watch this and think that this sounds like a good idea and to start doing it. The point is to warn you against doing it and there are a few reasons why you shouldn't use a syringe to withdraw insulin from a pen device or refill cartridge. So if the needle slips when you're trying to put it into the pen you could end up hurting yourself you could also end up damaging the insulin pen if you, you tried to put a syringe into it. But I think most importantly is the fact that you could end up giving the wrong dose of insulin. So insulin syringes are marked in units of insulin, not in milliliters. But the unit markings only apply if you're using the 100 unit per mil strength of insulin and the problem is that insulin pen devices can contain differing concentrations of insulin for example they might contain 100 units per mil 200 units per mil 300 units per mil and there are even 500 unit per mil pens available now and devices with differing concentrations of insulin can look very similar now this isn't a problem if the pens are used correctly in the normal way because the dials on the pen are calibrated to give the correct number of units. So you just turn the dial to 14 say and that will give you 14 units. 
But if you use an insulin syringe to withdraw insulin from the pen, it can cause problems because say you withdrew 0.2 milliliters from each of the pens in the previous slide, the same volume gives three different doses of insulin in terms of the number of units. So you could end up giving a three times overdose of insulin, which obviously could severely harm the patient. So the lessons to take from the alert are, firstly, never use a needle and syringe to withdraw insulin from a pen device. Secondly, always ensure that you have the correct equipment before starting to administer insulin. Make sure you have safety needles appropriate for the device that you're using and the sharp spin to dispose of used needles. And thirdly, make sure you keep your training up to date. Make sure you know how to use insulin pen devices properly. So please do share this information with your colleagues and thank you for watching.